Ansible Tower is a RESTful API endpoint and web-based user interface for Ansible. While Ansible is a very powerful command line tool, Ansible Tower provides a framework for running Ansible inside of your enterprise. In this demo, we'll show you several key benefits provided by Ansible Tower, including role-based access control, push-button deployment, centralized logging and auditing for all of your Ansible playbook runs, and of course, the RESTful API. After logging into Tower, you'll see the dashboard. This view offers a status summary of all hosts and jobs, including successful and failed Ansible playbook runs, statuses of all hosts across all inventories, and a list of all recent jobs. First, let's review how Tower supports the collaboration of teams by providing a permissioning system to manage access by individual Tower users across multiple Ansible inventories and playbooks. Tower provides a complete role-based access control system, allowing you to explicitly permit users and teams of users to run playbooks against certain sets of hosts. Users and teams are restricted to the sets of playbooks and hosts to which they have been granted permission. With Tower, create or import as many users and teams as required. Create users manually or by importing them via LDAP or Active Directory. In Tower, the various permissions live in the objects you wish to control access to. For instance, a project, inventory, or job template. We'll show more about this when we start to talk about these other concepts. Tower can also set permissions on an individual user basis or can aggregate these permissions into teams of users. Create as many teams of users as you need. Like users, teams can be assigned permissions too. Teams can scalably assign ownership for credentials, preventing multiple Tower interface click-throughs to assign the same credential to multiple users. Tower credentials are imported and stored encrypted within Tower and are not retrievable in plain text on the command line by any user. A second major benefit of Ansible Tower is the push-button deployment of Ansible playbooks. Easily configure a template within Tower to store all parameters you'd normally pass to the Ansible playbook on the command line. Not just the playbooks, but the inventory, credentials, extra variables, and all options and settings that you can specify on the command line can be stored within a job template. Easier deployments drive consistency by running your playbooks the same way each and every time and allow you to delegate responsibilities. Even users who aren't Ansible experts can run Tower playbooks written by others. Job templates are where the magic happens in Tower. Here you can see quite a few configured job templates, each corresponding to a playbook combined with parameters needed to run that playbook. Note that some of these job templates reuse the exact same playbook, but different parameters are passed to the playbook in various ways, with different inventories, etc. The job templates encourage reusing Ansible playbook content and collaboration between teams. Here's an example of a job template. Every job template needs a name and description. We can also choose whether to run this job as the type of run, check, or scan, which is a special type of tower job related to tower's system tracking capability. Setting the type to run executes the playbook running tasks on the selected hosts. Setting the type to check does not actually execute the playbook, but will instead check the syntax, test the environment setup, and report any problems along with what the job would have changed had it been in run mode. Inventory selection is next. We can choose any inventory we've configured in Tower. So let's quickly review our inventories. Let's look at our configured inventories. These can be named and set up to match your organization and how you've divided your systems. Here, we have a number of different inventories. Each inventory is simply a collection of hosts, the same as an Ansible inventory file on the command line. You can group hosts underneath inventories in any way that makes sense for you and your organization. Here you can see an Amazon Web Services group that is automatically synchronized from AWS EC2. Hosts can be added manually by IP address or host name. Tower can also sync inventory directly from AWS EC2, Google Compute Engine, Microsoft Azure, VMware, Rackspace OpenCloud, or OpenStack, and many others. Once configured, synchronization is as simple as pressing this button. Once inventories are set up, you can use them in job templates. Let's review our template for the stack deployment into AWS. After selecting our inventory, we then select which tower project to deploy the playbook from. 
A tower project is a logical collection of Ansible playbooks that can reference an entire repository of playbooks and roles. Here, I've selected the Conference Demos project, which is set up to pull Ansible content directly from a public repo on GitHub. Let's quickly review how that configuration looks. Ansible playbook content is organized into tower projects. Import your content into tower directly onto the file system with the tower command line, or import from a source management system like Git, Subversion, Mercurial, or any SCM tool that provides those interfaces. By passing the URL here, we can pull the conference demos repository in from GitHub. This is a public repository, so credentials are not needed but can be provided if necessary. Once configured, Tower can update the project from the upstream repository by pressing this button or by scheduling the update to periodically recur. And now back to the job template. Once the project is configured, the drop-down menu for the playbook is automatically populated with all the Ansible playbooks found in the project directory and any subdirectories. Next up is configuring the correct credentials needed to run Ansible against the hosts in our selected inventory. I've selected a machine credential and the credential for AWS for our EC2 systems management. So let's take a look at how credentials are set up. Credentials are accessed via the setup menu and can be type machine, cloud, or source code management system. Tower uses cloud credentials to interact with cloud providers such as Amazon or Google Compute. Tower uses SCM credentials to import projects from private repositories. Machine credentials enable Tower to invoke Ansible on hosts under your management. Just like using Ansible on the command line, you can specify the SSH username, optionally provide a password, an SSH key, a key password, or even have Tower prompt the user for their password at deployment time. Tower also supports Ansible Vault and the use of sudo and other privilege escalation facilities. Note that these credentials are not retrievable from Tower. Once a password or key has been entered into the Tower interface, it is encrypted and inserted into the Tower database and cannot be retrieved from Tower. You can grant users and teams the ability to use these credentials without actually ever exposing the credential to the user. If you have a user move to a different team or leave the organization, you don't have to rekey all of your systems just because that credential was available on Tower. Looking back to the job template, once the inventory, project, playbook, and credentials are configured, other parameters and options can then be set up. You can limit the playbook run to a set of inventory hosts and groups as seen here. You can also pass extra variables to the playbook. This is very useful for reuse and collaboration. You reuse the same playbook over and over again, specified to different inventories. To handle the differences in your inventory, such as differences between AWS, Rackspace, and Google Compute, you can pass different variable values to override the defaults. Launching the job template is as simple as clicking the launch button or setting up a schedule to run this job in the future. A third major benefit of Ansible Tower is the centralized logging and job history that Tower provides. Running Ansible from the command line does not really preserve the history of job runs, nor does it necessarily aggregate the history of all of your job runs across your environment. Tower does exactly that. The Jobs view gives you access to all of the jobs that have ever been run from Tower, including jobs that are scheduled, queued, and currently active. Expanding this view shows you details about the job run, including exactly how it was launched, the job template, the inventory, credentials, and all other options that were used to launch it. This is important in case the template has changed since the last job run. We want to see how this particular job was run at launch time, regardless of any changes since then. This screen continuously updates in real time, showing the tasks of each play of the playbook and each task of the play as the tasks complete. Clicking on the completed tasks for any host provides detailed information for that set of tasks on that host. Selecting any play shows the tasks for that particular play. Clicking any task shows the status of each host that the task ran against, and then you can click on any of the hosts to get a very detailed view of how the task ran and the result. Here we see the output of running tasks on each of our web servers. We can drill down to get more information about exactly when this task was executed, what module it called, and with what parameters. You can also view the standard output, which shows us the same output we would have gotten had we run this job on the Ansible command line, but with even more detail. 
All this information can be used to audit the changes deployed to your environment using Ansible Tower. Tower does a lot of other things, but the last and most important value out of Tower is absolutely the API. The Tower UI is a wrapper for the RESTful API. Anything and everything you can do via point and click, you can also do via the API. You can create, update, and delete any of the objects that we've talked about today. A popular approach is launching jobs through the API from a continuous integration system or even a monitoring tool. This allows Tower to fit in nicely with your existing tools and workflows. That's all we have to show you today in this demonstration. Thanks for viewing it. For more information and a free trial of Ansible Tower, visit ansible.com tower.